I finally got it. The uh, new car, I presume so, uh, motorbike breakers. So I'm going to take this all off, uh, put it all back together, and hope it starts up. I mean, um, started fine with my other RS carb on there, so I guess it should do. Um, it's probably going to take a little while to get it all tuned up, uh, adjust all the jets, just get it running right, but once it's running, I'll let you know. this is actually in pretty good condition um, it looks the same uh, it's the BD version uh, I'm hoping that all the jets are in there and I'll just have a look really there we go it's got the 120 jet which is what it should have uh, I think that's the standard uh, I'll go through check out the idle jet and the emulsion tube hopefully this time the emulsion tube won't snap and cause those issues like what it did before. The 65 idle 120 main. Um, see what the emulsion tube is. Hopefully, as I said before, it doesn't completely destroy itself. Now that's the emulsion tube all the way in there that I need to try and fish out. Um, I'll put the camera down for this because I'm not going to have to do it otherwise. That's a 62, which isn't great it could do with a 65 that's pretty good it's got this little uh, plate thing here on my uh, current RS I've actually lost it so I had to bodge it with a spare uh, that's obviously a big bonus uh, so I've got all these bits and I don't particularly need them like I've got all the uh, throttle uh, spring top bit everything don't need it but fair enough um, I'll take it it's coming along nicely, finally managed to get the airbox on, uh, the carbs on nice. Uh, I just need to put the tank on now and then I'll try and fire it up. started straight up and it doesn't sound too bad um, it's a bit uh, muffled now as I've got the air box back on but still runs nicely no visible leaks um, and yeah pretty smooth running uh, it's pretty much all done now apart from the indicators and the speedo is a bit broken but yeah show you how it goes <laughs> 